Hey, I'm a, um, I'm gonna need Bud Crawford to move accordingly, man. Yeah, I'm gonna need Bud to move accordingly. Uh, I had to do this one real quick to uh to say we remember when Bud was outside looking in, right? We re- remember when the narrative was Bud was on the wrong side of the street. Uh, we remember when Bud couldn't get those fights. Uh, he was fortunate enough to get the Jeff Horn fight. But prior to that, and even before he was undisputed at 140, he was calling out certain people. Fast forward, he gets to 147. He's already been undisputed. He's calling for all of these PBC guys, right? He's calling for him. He had been calling for him. Again, fortunate enough to get the Jeff Horn fight, but he's deemed to be on the wrong side of the street. And because Earl Spence was on the right side of the street, he got those fights first, right? He got the Kell Brook fight first. He got the Sean Porter fight first. He got the Dennis Ugas fight first or or what what have would have been the Manny Pacquiao fight first. You know, I mean, he he got all those opportunities first. And real quick, before I go into what I really want to talk about, that if you really think about it, Bud would have been the big fish had he gotten those opportunities first. You know, I mean, I truly believe that. And I think given his his performance against Earl Spence, you probably believe that, too. And even when you think about the two common po- opponents in a Kell Brook and a Sean Porter, Bud did it just as good, if not better. With Well, he did it just as good with Kell Brook and he did it better versus a Sean Porter. So I think it's safe to say that anybody Spence beat. Bud probably beats them as well. But anyway, listen. All of the excuses. He ain't got a belt. He ain't got this. He ain't got that. Now for Bud. Knowing that Jerron Boots Ennis is the number one guy across the board at 147. When you really think about the 147 pound division. Now that Spence is out of the way. Who else deserves a shot at those belts more than a Boots Ennis? And you can't really use Boots' resume against him because he hasn't been able to get in the ring with those guys. But he reminds me a lot of of a, a, um, a Terrence Crawford, somebody who's been screaming for these names and hasn't been able to get in the ring with them. I, I almost feel like it's Terrence Crawford all over again sometimes, right? Uh, number, I think he's number one in two out of the four sanctioning bodies, I believe it is. Uh, you got a Keith Thurman, who, what, he's for like twice in the last four, five years. He's coming off of Mario Barrios' uh, 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 fight that supposed to had been, and that was like two years ago now, which was supposed to have been the uh, WBC eliminator. Uh, you can't put him over a Boots as far as deserving, who's more willing or who's more deserving of a shot. Boots has been active, you know what I'm saying? Uh, again, when you really look at the landscape of 147, you have to put boots above them all as far as being in line for a shot. You got to put them above a Virgil Ortiz, a Stan Ionis, a Keith Thurman, uh, or your Dennis Ugas. Uh, He took, he he had his opportunity at at Errol Spence. Uh, Let's come on. So, you got to say, damn, Bud, like when you look at when Bud looks at Boots, he's got to see a little bit of himself like, yo, yeah, I mean, this guy's doing everything possible. Right. 
and he's worked himself to the top of the food chain for real, he deserves a shot. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully Bud can see that and want to go ahead and get that young boy his opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Um, and a shot. All right. If if Bud decides to stay at 147 and defend, which I think he should. Uh, again, I think Bud makes 147 and 154 easy. I feel like he can bounce back and forth if he wants to. Uh, I think it's very doable. Even though he did say it was a little hard to make 147, um, that's why he would entertain a rematch at 154 with Spence. But what does it really mean at 154 for Earl Spence? I mean, that it, we already know it was one-sided, so it already takes some of the intrigue away from it. But at 154, there's nothing on the line. It's just a payday for both guys, and you potentially get the same ass whooping you got the previous fight. Not sure how that's going to sit with a lot of fans, but for Bud, you got to see you you got to see yourself in boots. So that's the best way I can put it. You have to see yourself in boots. You once was that guy, even though you were a former world champion, or you know at one forty, you was that guy at one forty seven outside looking in and like, damn, I can't get a fight. And that's kind of how boots has been for a while. We've been calling for boots for a while, but he can't. He can't get on the radar until somebody gives him a shot. All right, that's all I got for y'all on this one, man. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.